Breaking news, 2023. Osibanjo is good presidential material. That's why Nigerians are talking about him. Bayesa traditional rulers throw their weight behind the vice president. Hello, my wonderful people. A lot of Nigerians have the opinion that um, Professor Yemi Osibanjo may just be the man we've been waiting for. I mean, this man swung into action for the first time in a long time, only when Buhari was away, you know, when he was away to the United Kingdom for a period of about uh, three months or so on medical grounds. Then Osibanjo came on board. And for the first time in a long time, the Naira rose. That was the only time. Yes, he was able to cut short a lot of things. And, uh, but aside that, Osibanjo has been pretty quiet in the Buhari's administration. But many other people have the opinion that uh, we agree with whatever you have said. Again, this man is in one of the most corrupt, okay, administration. And his words are rather very not heard in the corridor of power. We expected more from him. So if you're saying he's a good presidential candidate, a man who could not speak for the people when he was really needed because Buhari was there and he was playing the good and faithful servant. How are we sure he's going to stand for us? You know, so these are the com contemplations between the lines. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. 2023, Osibanjo is good presidential material. That's why Nigerians are talking about him. Bayesa, traditional ruler, shows weight behind the vice president. Traditional rulers in Bayesa state has given a green light for the vice president of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, to contest the 2023 presidential election. The vice chairman of the Bayesa Traditional Rulers Council, Mela Simsim, who spoke on Saturday during the groundbreaking ceremony of the construction of the Orekboma Bridge in the state, described Osibanjo as a good presidential material. He added that the name of the vice president has gone on the lips of every Nigerian because of his good efforts in governance, which is very much appreciated by the people. Have you seen one who has not nominated interest in presidency yet? For the first time, the North, the South, the East, PDP, APC, all alike, giving their support. This should tell you he's God sent, but there are a few elements who wants to instill themselves on Nigerians. The subject is coming at a time when the social media conversation and media space has been awash with rumors that the ambition of the vice president to replace his principal by contesting the 2023 presidential election. But the spokesman of the vice president, Laolu Akinde, has come out to shut down the rumor. However, speaking on Saturday, the prominent traditional ruler in Bayesa said, Osibanjo is a good presidential material and that people want him to be the president. The vice president, your name has been on the lips of every Nigerian. You are a good person. We saw what you did when Buhari was out of the country and that lingers on in our memory. And we can see how people are rooting support for you despite the fact you have not indicated interest to run for the position. It shows that Nigerians want you. Serve your people was what they said. Hello, my wonderful people. So it goes. You know, um, when a man's name begins to ring bell, when a man becomes um, the object of discussion uh, in whatever quarters, whether for good or bad, it shows that there is something there. I mean, for starters, it was the North that started the whole Osibanjo campaign, like sincerely. You know, like I will always say, they were caught up between the lines of divides. Yes. Why some were saying, oh, um, they're saying this for that and that and that reason, whatever the reasons were. OK, or whatever the people thought about or they wanted, it's 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 it doesn't really matter at this point in time. On a more serious note, it doesn't really matter because what we can clearly see right now is that, you know, Osibanjo, some people want him again. Some people don't want him. 
So whatever the case is, Nigerians must make that decision. Whatever happens, Nigerians, we are going to be voting and deciding. Are we going to continue with the same strategy all over again? They come, they share bag of rice, 5,000 naira, piece of cloth to us, and then we go ahead, we accept them. And at the end of the day, like good businessmen and women, they have invested, so they're expecting returns on their, on their investments. So no road work, no true development whatsoever. Are we going to continue with the same things over and over again? Please, my wonderful people, let's not continue with those things that have not made us move forward. Let's, let's move on to things that we, that we, can, we can taste and see. Okay, the, the premise of what will really make us move forward as a nation, as a people, the time to make that decision is now. Okay, the time to make that decision is now. So please, let's rise up beyond whatever it is and let us make a real difference. Okay, by voting the right candidate. Whether you like it or not, if election holds, we're going to be voting. Please exercise your fundamental human rights and let us vote for the candidate, the man and woman who could potentially turn the course of the country around. Don't forget the fact that some people have said to Yemi Osibanjo, if you contest, you are, you are a betrayer to Tinubu because uh, you know that Tinubu has indicated interest to contest. But again, I don't see Tinu I don't hear Tinubu's name on the lips of people, you know. And of course, he has you know his own set of people who are rooting support. But Nigerians, whether Tinubu, whether Osibanjo, again, are we not tired of recycling this whole leadership, same set of people over and over again? Can't we get, you know, fresh minds, fresh ideas, new set of people, men and women? Who could potentially bring a difference to our political space? Why do we want to keep recycling the same people over and over and over again? Are there, are there no other people in Nigeria who could potentially lead? Are there no other people? Because we must ask ourselves these questions. We must ask ourselves, are there no other people potentially who could lead? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.